Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And can I congratulate all the parties in Northern Ireland for reformulating the Northern Ireland Executive? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister sent a letter to the First Minister of Scotland yeah. rejecting the democratic right of the people of Scotland to have a choice over their own future. Mr. Speaker, this was not a surprise. The Prime Minister is a democracy denier. Can I say to the Prime Minister, as his colleagues privately admit, this position is undemocratic, unacceptable and completely unsustainable. The Prime Minister has shown utter contempt for Scottish democracy, for Scotland's Parliament and for Scotland's people. Does the Prime Minister accept that by ignoring Scotland, imposing Brexit with his pursuance of cruel and punishing policies, that he's strengthening the case for Scottish independence? Mr Speaker, it was not only the right honourable gentleman uh, who leads the SNP in this House, it was also Alex Salmond and his protégé, Nicola Sturgeon, who said at the time of the referendum that it was a once-in-a-generation event. He said it, they said it, they were right then. Why have they changed their mind? He is the denier. He is the denier of democracy. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister's party, the Conservative Party, signed up to the Smith Commission that recognised the right of the people of Scotland to determine their own future. That's the reality. The Prime Minister lives in a fantasy land. But people across Scotland know the reality of this Prime Minister's broken Brexit Britain. The truth is, the only union that the Prime Minister is truly interested in is his union with Donald Trump. A partnership that threatens to sell off our precious National Health Service. Mr Speaker, only yesterday the Prime Minister called for the replacement of the Iran nuclear deal with, as he put it, a Trump agreement. The public deserves the truth. What backroom deals are being done with Donald Trump? Why is the Prime Minister putting our NHS at risk? Repeatedly during the election campaign, the Prime Minister promised time and time again the NHS is not for sale. Mr Speaker, will the Prime Minister now commit to supporting the Scottish National Party's proposal for an NHS protection bill? Without that commitment, what price will this Prime Minister make us pay for his toxic Trump deal? Actually, Mr Speaker, the, the SNP welcomed our statement on the JCPOA uh, yesterday. Uh, but, but you know, seriously, the, the, prob the, pro the, problem, the problem with, with the SNP, uh, Scotland under the SNP is the highest tax part of the, of the UK. The deficit is six times the UK average. Maths and science in schools is actually going down in the PISA rankings. It's unlike any other part of the United Kingdom. That is no fault of the pupils of Scotland, by the way. It is the fault of the government of Scotland under the SNP who are not giving them the chances they deserve because they are obsessed with breaking up the United Kingdom. Change the record. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Investment in super.